the Aramaic and the Palestinian Targum. Targum means translation. So this was written down uh, from Hebrew language, or in Hebrew language, about 400 BC when they're going into the Babylonian captivity. So it's lovely to have a copy of this and to be able to read it to you. There was a lot more information in the Aramaic and Palestinian Targums. And it, you will notice it will fill in a lot of gaps of understanding because it's, it explains things fully. So let me begin in the book of Genesis, section 1, Bereshith. Chapter 1 At the beginning, the Lord created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was vacancy and desolation, solitary of the sons of men and void of every animal. The darkness was upon the face of the abyss, and the spirit of mercies from before the Lord breathed upon the face of the waters. The Jerusalem text says, In wisdom be who come here, the Lord created. And the earth was vacancy and desolation, the solitary of the men, of the sons of men, and void of every animal. And the spirit of mercies from before the Lord breathed upon the face of the waters. And the Lord said, Let there be light and to enlighten above. And at once there was light, and the Lord beheld the light, and it was good. And the Lord divided between the light and the darkness. And the Lord called the light day, and he made it that the inhabitants of the world might labour by it. And the darkness he called night, and he made it that in it the creatures might have rest. And it was evening, and it was morning, the first day. Jerusalem text says, And it was evening, and it was morning, in the order of the work of the creation, or of the beginning, the first day. And the Lord said, Let there be an expanse in the midst of the waters, and let it separate between the waters above and the waters beneath. And the Jerusalem text says, Let there be a separation between the waters above and the waters below. And the Lord made the expanse, upbearing it with three fingers, between the confines of the heavens and the waters of the ocean and separated between the waters which were below the expanse and the waters which were above in the collection or covering of the expanse. And it was so. And the Lord called the expanse the heavens, and it was evening, and it was morning, the second day. And the Lord said, Let the lower waters which remain under the heavens be gathered together into one place, and the earth be dried, that the land may be visible. And it was so. And the Lord called the dry land the earth, and the place of the assembly of the waters he called the seas. And the Lord saw that it was good. And the Lord said, let the earth increase the grassy herb whose seed seedeth, and the fruit making tree making fruit after its kind, whose seed is in itself upon the earth. And it was so. And the earth produced grasses and herbage whose seed seedeth, and the tree making fruit after its kind. And the Lord saw that it was good. And it was evening, and it was morning, the third day. And the Lord said, Let there be lights in the expanse of the heavens to distinguish between the day and the night. And let them be for signs and for festival times, 
and for the numbering of them, the account of days, and for the sanctifying of the beginning of months and the beginning of years, and passing away of months and the passing away of years, the revolutions of the sun, the birth of the moon, and the revolutions of seasons. Jerusalem text says, And let them be for signs and for seasons, and for the sanctifying by them of the beginning of months and years. And let them be for luminaries in the expanse of the heavens to give light upon the earth, and it was so. And the Lord made two great luminaries, and they were equal in glory twenty and one years, less six hundred and two and seventy parts of an hour. And afterwards the moon recited against the sun a false report, and she was diminished, and the sun was appointed to be the greater light to rule the day, and the moon to be the inferior light to rule in the night, and the stars. And the Lord ordained them into the offices, in the expanse of the heavens, to give forth light upon the earth, and to minister by day and by night, to distinguish between the light of the day and the darkness of the night. And the Lord beheld that it was good, and it was evening, and it was morning, the fourth day. And the Lord said, Let the lakes of the water swarm forth the reptile, the living animal, and the fowl which flieth, whose nest is upon the earth, and let the way of the bird be upon the ear of the expanse of the heavens. And the Lord created the great titans, the leviathan, which are dragons, and his yoke fellow, which are prepared for the day of consolation. And every living animal which creepeth, and which the clear waters had swarmed forth after their kind, the kinds which are clean, and the kinds which are not clean and every fowl which flieth with wings after its kind, the clean and the unclean. And the Lord beheld that it was good, and he blessed them, saying, Increase and multiply, and fill the waters of the seas, and let the fowl multiply upon the earth. And it was evening, and it was morning. Day the fifth. And the Lord said, Let the soil of the earth bring forth the living creature according to his kind, the kind that is clean and the kind that is unclean, cattle and creepy thing, and the creature of the earth according to his kind. And it was so. And the Lord made the beast of the earth after his kind, the clean and the unclean, the cattle after their kind, and every reptile of the earth after its kind, the clean and the unclean. And the Lord saw that it was good. And the Lord said to the angels who ministered before him, who had been created in the second day of the creation of the world, Let us make man in our image, in our likeness, and let them rule over the fish of the sea and over the fowl which are in the atmosphere of heaven, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every reptile creeping upon the earth. And the Lord created man in his likeness. The Jerusalem text says, And the word of the Lord created man in his likeness. In the likeness of the presence of the Lord he created them. The male and his yoke fellow he created them. In the image of the Lord he created them with 240 and 8 members, with 360 and 5 nerves, and overlaid them with skin and filled it with flesh and blood. Male and female in their bodies he created them, and he blessed them. And the Lord said to them, Increase and multiply, and fill the earth with sons and daughters, and prevail over it in its possessions. 
and have dominion, dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the heavens and over every creeping animal that creepeth upon the earth. And the Lord said, Behold, I have given you every herb whose seed seedeth upon the face of all the earth and every unfruitful tree for the need of building and for burning. And the tree in which its fruit seedeth after its kind, to you it shall be for food. But to every beast of the earth, and to every fowl of the heavens, and to every reptile upon the earth in which is the living soul, I have given all green herbs. And it was so, and the Lord beheld everything he had made. And it was good, it was very good, and it was evening, and it was morning, the sixth day. This is the end of Genesis chapter 1. I'd just like to make a couple of points for consideration. The Jerusalem text says, And the word of the Lord created man in his likeness. You know, we look at the book of John, I am the word, made flesh and manifested amongst them, and the world knew it not. The word of the Lord, Yahusha, Jesus, our Messiah. So he created man in his likeness. In the likeness of the presence of the Lord, he created him. So isn't that marvellous, that he was here right from the beginning. Isn't it marvellous too that he created the moon and the sun for days, for months, for counting of years, as it says, let them be for signs and for festival times, festival times. The Lord has festivals, and we can read about those in Leviticus 23, and this is all part of Yahuwah's calendar, that he has a system, he has a timeline, and he has given us these things so that we can also measure and understand these things, and seek out what is it that is the beginning of months? What is it that's the beginning of years? The counting of the days and how that works. And it is all here in his book. And as we go through it, we will talk about it and learn it further and more. Isn't it also interesting that the sun and the moon had a conversation? That they are live beings. It's just not a ball that's sort of on a trajectory that it has no um, ability to change from. I mean, it is on a system that to be obedient, they have to remain at it. But they actually are all under the word of the Lord. And because of pride, the moon was diminished to be the inferior light to rule in the night. Isn't this interesting? So praise be his holy name, the one who was and is and will always be. Amen.